welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Recently, the well-known Ukrainian band Onuka has released the music video called Stroom. Together with the No Waste Ukraine public project, Onuka has begun hashtag EcoStroom environmental initiative, which encourages the development of a recycling market in Ukraine. To tell us more about this initiative and waste sorting issues, we're joined in the studio today by Nata Zhishchenko. She is the lead singer of the band Onuka. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello. So as far as I know, uh, you have uh, recently released your new video called Stroom, right? Yeah. Uh, let's present it to our audience. Let's watch a clip. Okay. Please tell us, what is the idea behind the video? It's our first collaboration with Alan Badoev, Ukrainian mm -hmm. director, and he had such awkward idea to shoot on dump, on uh, Kiev's dump, and uh, it's really huge, huge dump mm -hmm. uh, with no limits. It's a full smell there. It's really awkward, awful and horrible, and like a bit of tragedy there. and. Uh, I thought that this idea is really reasonable for me because I'm worried about pollution, about contamination of our nature and about the problem and issue of waste and the waste and sorting of waste mm -hmm. in Ukraine. That is why I understood that this would be very important for our audience, uh, to the publicity and to just common citizens of Ukraine. Our video has a strong message and a strong plot and uh, more than 100 of actors were decide, decided to take part in this shooting. And in spite of all problems of scant, of smell, of the hope that you can fall into, they were dedicating themselves for us for this shooting and uh, just um, taking their spirits and uh, their thoughts and feelings through the screen to this uh, masterpiece as I think it is. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a masterpiece and um, as far as I know you are the person that practices what you preach so basically if you're uh, uh, voicing if, if you're giving your voice for tackling pollution for um, uh, ways uh, for sorting the garbage, you are doing it yourself. Do you sort the garbage at home? Yes, I do, and I've been recently uh, doing this, but now I do it more uh, conscious, constantly, and with um, understanding of this process deeply and entirely. I do sort it and uh, my husband does sort it uh, and my family starts to sort it and uh, it's not so easy in the beginning because there are a lot of aspects, moments and some uh, technical issues of this whole and not so simple process. Mm -hmm. But um, when we were shooting uh, this video we understand, we understood that uh, it's not enough just to illustrate the scale of this problem. We have to make something more to start to decide this problem. That mm -hmm. is why we thought about No Waste or Ukraine Without Garbage. It's a Ukrainian organization which supports um, waste sorting uh, facilities. And we wanted to make an initiative and our initiative is called EcoStrom. The idea of it is simple to enlighten um, the population mm -hmm. what is the process of uh, so waste sorting and um, to make uh, all the uh, monetization uh, on YouTube uh, while you're uh, sharing, liking or watching our video. I know that, video. that every, every sharing, every and watching, every liking of your video on YouTube, the monetization from, royalty you're getting from it is going to the waste sorting facilities yes, of Ukraine. Uh, yes, and it supports this organization and uh, more of our audience can uh, 
be acknowledged uh, in this um, huge problem mm -hmm. and just to think maybe to understand or um, just to, to reconsider their um, understandment of uh, this problem really and start to sort maybe by themselves. Is music the only way you're trying to educate Ukrainian population on waste sorting? Or maybe there is something else in the framework of uh, EcoStream project? I think that art is a message and uh, I don't understand when art uh, not contains uh, this message. That is why I always try to um, give some extra um, thoughts, extra knowledge to um, my music or to my songs. And uh, that is why this uh, thing, Strum, is uh, really combined with this ECHO initiative mm -hmm. and uh, we had um, invented a um, website uh, strum.anuka.ua mm -hmm. you can uh, watch uh, the video there you can also um, th uh, get all information about no waste and is Ukraine without rubbish without waste and to donate and uh, during 10 days we had a lot of donation just to uh, support of this no waste in Ukraine and I think it's just a beginning and when we'll have one million of views uh, we'll make some uh, conclusion, maybe some climax and we'll share it to publicity which results do we have uh, to this moment. Mm -hmm. You are a very popular singer in Ukraine and I'm not afraid to say that you are a well-known singer around the world now. You travel abroad a lot. Comparing uh, the waste sorting, the waste sorting facilities in other countries of the world and Ukraine, what kind of a, an, eva an evaluation would you give to Ukraine? How aware is our uh, population of the need to start sorting the waste? We do really need to start uh, sorting waste, but a lot of people just don't know about such process. There want to do that but they have no conditions no facilities uh, no mechanic no techniques and um, government doesn't support such uh, process in kiev and in ukraine in whole we have a lot of uh, understandable thinking people and they're ready to do this they just have no information no uh, conditions and maybe no um, big amount of knowledge in mm -hmm. this process that is why they have to be enlightenment and they have to be like um, ready uh, for this process and I think that uh, such kind of information should be spread in schools for pupils, for teachers and uh, maybe uh, students will let them, their parents, their siblings to do. It's like a big process but we have to start it now mm -hmm. and I think now in Ukraine it's not very good um, situation. I think it's really bad and uh, dangerous and we have to start it now not tomorrow not the day after tomorrow but now because it's too close that when we have no way mm -hmm. for the future the topic of pollution is not new uh, in your art and your previous album called mosaica also had some um, masterpieces about chernobyl now are you planning to continue doing that and include chernobyl in your upcoming albums uh, maybe it would be not uh, songs that would be dedicated to the song, but some um, performances or some uh, pieces of art, uh, not in a musical way, but some combines of... Theatrical plays? Um, maybe videos? some um, performances, maybe some videos, yes, but with music, not just uh, common songs, because I've already had E.P. Vidlik, uh, which was dedicated, the song 1986, mm -hmm. which was uh, the personal dedication to the tragedy. And also in Mosaica we have Arca, it's track that was um, dedicated to the new confinement. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's too much in my music that is dedicated and I have to tell a lot but I don't have to shout uh, about it all the time because it would be just uh, unnoticed by mm -hmm. audience. How do you, uh, where do you find inspiration? <sighs> As for me I can find inspiration in common life, in details, in routine, um, 
in my recollections of childhood, maybe I do like my family uh, very much and this is my first time in my life when I'm too adult maybe to have the courage to say my parents that I do love them. Um, I think that I'm not a younger maximalist uh, no more. That is why I can dedicate time to them. And uh, I recollect my childhood and I can admit that it was a very happy Soviet maybe, but mm -hmm. so inspiring and romantic. And when I recollect our trips to Chernikiv, for example, I feel impressed and I really uh, feel excitement um, in some ways and I like common things, uh, some cheap things, some romantic and uh, not uh, some luxury. I do not like luxury kind of living and not VIP kind of living. I do like common life and this inspires me. Uh, common sense of life, love, maybe um, love between generations, uh, respect, understanding, and this inspires me. I think it's uh, um, maybe a little bit uh, of banality, but um, it's true. You're also known for experimenting with the music, meaning that you like to combine different musical instruments. What's your favorite musical instrument and how do you come up with ideas which of the music, musical instruments you would like to combine? Uh, my favorite Ukrainian traditional folk instrument is sapilka. Mm -hmm. And um, it was made by my grandparent, uh, who was grandfather. Uh, he was a very well-known Ukrainian master of folk wooden instruments. That is why my project has a name Onuka. It's mm -hmm. a dedication to him and I wanted him to be next to me after his death. And uh, like, it's a respect for the history of family maybe in some way. Uh, and that is why I do like Sapilka very much. And I played from four years old. That is why I always with this instrument and I play it when I have fun, I play it when I sad, when I'm sad and uh, it can treat me in every state of mood, in every condition of my spirit. And um, this is my favorite instrument. I think we're a little bit similar, so thin and uh, so um, tender. spiritual, tender maybe and spiritual and we can reflect feelings um, mm. very deeply and entirely. Um, I think that we'll have a lot of new instruments in our upcoming shows. It would give us a glimpse. What kind uh, of instruments? Uh, um, it would be also buhai, bandura, cimbali, um, trembita, uh, hutsulski didik, um, okarina, svishchik, um, triskachka, bich chlopovka. Tilinka and also maybe some other new instruments that just a surprise. I don't think 80% of our audience know at least half of the instruments you've named, but nevertheless, this will be the reason for them to wait for your new show that you've just mentioned. And that brings me to my next, last and the most trivial question. What are your uh, art plans for the future? Uh, we have a tour uh, via Ukraine, it would be 13 uh, cities, mm -hmm. uh, it would be in November. And uh, this is the tour which is dedicated to the um, latest uh, release Mosaica and we'll have the grand uh, finale or uh, the main show in Kiev in Stereo Plaza on the 7th of um, December this mm -hmm. year. We're mm, making our rehearsals now and we're preparing for new um, volume of our show and I think that uh, there would be some surprises, um, visual surprises, musical surprises, uh, new participants of our show and I think... think about collaborating with some, with some um, uh, artists from abroad? We have such plans but I can't uh, announce uh, them yet because I don't like to say about something in future and then not to make it in real life. That mm -hmm. is why I just like to detect something that are already happened. Uh, mm -hmm. That is why I am uh, talking about what is going now. We are mm -hmm. preparing, we are preparing for the tour and for our uh, 
uh, brand show and we're worrying about it and think that we can do our best there. Well, I wish you all the luck during the show and the grand finale. Thank you so much for coming here and, and, and telling us all about your initiative and telling us all about your passion for uh, sorting the waste. Thank you. That was Nata Zyshenko. She is the lead singer of the band Onuga. Thank you so much for watching Head to Head. Stay tuned with UATV for more.